warmest blessings to you as we prepare to celebrate the feast of our Saviour's birth. How different our lives are as we gather to celebrate Christmas this year. So many things have changed, yet Jesus has been born for us. The beginning of this year was marked by the tragedy of the bushfires which ravaged land, homes, livelihoods and precious lives. In our own diocese of Salem beyond, so many people grieved the loss of livestock, land and infrastructure. Others sifted through ashes, searching for precious memories held in the rubble of their homes. Others huddled in fear, awaiting safe passage as roads and highways remained closed. Holiday centres, no longer filled with the sound of joyful holiday makers, became centres of refuge and welcome for the weary. Yet Jesus has been born for us. And as the haze began to settle, a new crisis emerged with COVID-19. Life for all of us was changed. Lockdowns and restrictions halted our freedom and our contact. Our hearts broke as we heard of the aged and frail being isolated from those they loved and for the many lives taken by the virus. Families and friends could only gather in small numbers to honour their beloved dead. For our Catholic community, church doors closed. We were unable to gather to share in the bread of life and word, the Eucharist, and to gather and connect with our brothers and sisters in faith. The buildings were closed, but the church was alive. And in all this, we were not alone. Jesus has been born for us. As we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we remember that he has been born for us, he is with us, Emmanuel. In spite of the challenges, grief, suffering and sadnesses of the year, a child was born for us, a son given to us, and the name they give him is Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus has been born for us, and it is into this 2020 reality of our life that he is born. For did we not see him in the faces and courage of those who came to rescue the afraid, the lost despairing? Did he not reveal himself in the gentle hands and words of those who cared for the COVID afflicted as they gently reassured those separated from their loved ones that they were not alone? Did we not feel the surprise of the hello phone call, knowing someone was thinking of us? And when those once strangers reached out to help, to care, to heal? Did not our hearts connect in a new way with the creative beauty of music, poetry, story, as we learned to unmute the mute button on Zoom so others could share their lives with us and we with them. Did we not feel a call within to go beyond, to reach out, to be mindful of others? Perhaps we found a new empathy for those who live alone every day. And as we lived the enforced quietness that this COVID time brought, perhaps we reflected on our lives, our meaning, our purpose in a new way. Jesus has been born for us. We yearn for his return. We listen once again to this familiar story as we celebrate Christmas. Mary, her husband Joseph, and their precious baby, a gift given and received. The story is the same, but perhaps our ears have opened and our hearts have been shaped by the griefs of this very different year. And as we draw breath and remember that silent night, that holy night of long ago, may the God of promise who has sent his Son to us be light in our darkness, joy in our despair, consolation in our grief, and bring peace for our journey. Jesus has been born for us, 
allow him to be born in you.